Today we'll be talking about the exam that every single dental student needs to pass in order to be able to graduate as a doctor and become a full-fledged dental healthcare professional. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Fivan Mendoza and I'm currently a fourth year dental student here at UT Health Science Center in San Antonio, Texas. We'll be talking about the Integrated National Dental Board Exam, also known as the IBDE, IME, IEDE, IMBDE, there you go. So the Integrated National Dental Board Exam, also known as the INBDE, is the new National Dental Board Exam that every dental student in the United States needs to pass in order to graduate as a dentist. Currently, the INBDE exam costs around $680 to take. And for most dental schools and dental students in the United States, it's taken after the third year of dental school or after their first clinical year. This exam is taken over two days it consists of 500 test questions, 360 questions that are taken day one, and 140 questions that are taken day two. There are two types of questions that are asked during this exam. The first is standalone questions, and the second being case questions. Day one consists of three sets of 100 standalone questions and one set of 60 case questions. Day two consists of two sets of 70 case questions. The exam is scored on a scale from 49 to 99, with 75 and above considered a passing score. That being said, you will not be notified of what exactly your score was if you score 75 and above. All you will receive is a pass score for the exam. Now, on the off chance that you do happen to fail the exam, you will be provided a score that will help you gauge how far or how close you were to the passing 75 score. Now, if you stayed throughout the length of the video, this will not be a problem and I will teach you exactly how I went about confidently passing the exam, but more importantly, how you can crush this exam as well. As far as the content and the subjects that this exam covers, it can be divided into three different components. The first and largest component is oral health management, which includes 42% of the entire exam material. The second is diagnosis and treatment planning, which accounts for 36% of the exam. And finally, practice and profession, which accounts for 22%. One of the biggest differences of this new integrated dental boards compared to the part one and part two in the past is the heavy use of the patient box in the exam questions, specifically the clinical case questions. A patient box such as this one will contain information that would typically be available to the dentist or dental hygienist during their visit at the dental office. Here you'll be provided patient information such as patient vitals, history of present illness, their medications, pertinent medical history, etc. You'll be expected to pull out the pertinent information and be able to apply it to the specific question that's being asked. Now, to be real with you guys, throughout my dental school journey, I've been humbled by exams a ton of times. Having heard from peers and other upperclassmen about their experience with part one and part two in the past and how after months of grueling exam preparation, they did not feel good at all coming out of the exam. My experience with the integrated dental boards was much different. I came out of the exam day one pretty much 90% sure that I had gotten the passing score. Since I was the last year of my school here at San Antonio that was able to take either part one and two or the integrated section, I was actually forced to study for both exams. Now while I never took part one or part two, I remember going through practice questions and feeling completely overwhelmed about not knowing the nitpicky details that were being asked especially in part one. Now the preparation as well as the actual exam day questions for the integrated dental boards was much more simple and streamlined and I felt much more confident going into it. And now guys, here at Mendoza Dental, we like to keep things simple, effective, as well as cost friendly as possible. Now with that being said, I pretty much just utilized three resources to study for this exam. The first that I recommend every dental student should look at before taking this integrated dental exam is the mental dental videos on YouTube, specifically the INBDE playlist that they have. I use these videos to review and brush up on some of the material that I hadn't seen in maybe some months and possibly years. And I found their videos to be very concise and helpful in order to better understand the different topics covered by the exam. Now being on YouTube, these videos are also free, which was also a big plus. Guys, I think these mental dental videos are truly essential as you prepare for this exam, no matter what your background or what school you're coming from. Second really helpful resource that I utilize is the Mastery app. 
specifically the INBDE preparation. This is a subscription-based resource that currently costs $50 for a monthly subscription or $200 for a yearly subscription. I found the sample test questions on this app to be extremely helpful in my preparation leading up to the day of the exam. With a question bank of over 3,500 questions that include standalone as well as case questions, this app is also, in my opinion, a must as you prepare for the exam. This is the only resource on the list that actually charges some money and you can't really get for free. With that being said though, it is very likely that your school or maybe some organization at school can provide you with a free subscription to the master yeah. Personally, that's how I was able to obtain a year-long subscription to the Mastery app was by an organization here at school. Now, with that being said, even if you don't have access to a free subscription from your school or a school organization, you could always go 50-50 with a friend and share the subscription in order to subsidize the costs. Or if they're a really good friend, they could go ahead and give you access to their account for free. Now, what I loved about the Mastery app was that it provided you real life questions very similar to the ones you're going to be seeing on exam day. This includes a pretty good combination of standalone questions as well as case questions that we described before. And honestly, just the mere act of going through these questions, reviewing the answers and the explanations will make you way better prepared for the actual questions on the exam. I found the difficulty and complexity of the questions on the mastery app to be pretty on par with the ones I had in my personal exam. <sighs> The third and final resource that I utilized heavily was the ADA Code of Ethics. Now, the reason that I say this resource is essential is because it provides the most thorough descriptions and explanations as to what the different ethical principles of the dental profession are, as well as the fact that the ethical questions on our real exam days that a lot of me and some of my friends had came straight from this PDF. But without a doubt, I definitely recommend you skim and look through this 20 page document because I can assure you, you will have anywhere from five to 10 questions coming directly from there. Now, another resource that I personally didn't use as much but a lot of my friends said that really helped them a lot as they prepared for the pharmacology questions on the exam was Tufts Farm. This is another document of about 60 plus pages that covers some sample questions specifically in the area of medications and pharmacology. Some of my friends that took the exam also said that some questions on their exam day were directly from this document as well. So if you have the spare time, which I personally didn't, I would recommend going through that document as well. As far as my study schedule went, I allotted myself around four and a half weeks to prepare for this exam. Now that being said, I was preparing for this exam at the same time as I was responsible for my other dental school responsibilities, such as reviewing for other licensing exams here in the state of Texas, as well as responsible for clinical work and laboratory work outside of school. Having gone through the preparation stage of different exams, such as the DAT and the old part one of the old National Dental Board exams, preparation period that I had for the integrated dental boards was much more laid back and nonchalant. During these four and a half weeks of preparation, I typically try to get at least two hours of studying in every single day leading up to exam day. Breaking it down a little bit further, this is exactly how I went about studying for the exam. For the first two weeks of studying, I typically spent around one hour going over mental dental videos and another hour going through the mastery app questions every single day for these first two weeks. During this time, I would also make notes and take screenshots of specific areas or complex subjects that I didn't quite fully understand in order for me to go over them a little bit more and review so I could understand them much better closer to exam day. Now, as I transition into my third and fourth week of preparation, I switched it up a little bit since I had completed most of the mental dental videos and I transitioned to do two hours daily of questions from the mastery app, as well as doing about a half hour to an hour daily going over the ADA code of ethics. I found the mastery app questions to be quite helpful during this point in my studying since they would typically make me aware of some weak areas in my studying as well as really good explanations and breakdowns on some of the tougher subject areas. During the last three to four days of my exam preparation, I decided to tweak my studying a bit. I spent these last few days going some of the areas that have cost me a little bit of trouble in the past and that I had taken notes of in my early weeks of study. I also made sure to touch up on the biggest subject of the exam, which was patient management. As a pro tip, 
having gone through the exam successfully and speaking to other classmates and friends that had done the same thing as well, I would specifically focus these last few days on going over subjects such as hypertension, hypertensive events, and how to manage that in a clinical setting, diabetes, how to deal with hypo and hypoglycemia, and the different hypertension medications as well as classifications and what they do to the body. Having gone through the studying and the exam process successfully, I think it is quite realistic and possible to get through the exam preparation in about three weeks. Now, of course, this all depends on the amount of time you can put in each day and also if you are busy with other activities as well. All in all, I think this is a very doable exam for pretty much anyone. I felt that my personal dental school education prepared me extremely well for this exam. And for those of you guys taking it, I'm sure that most of your dental schools have done the same as well. I wholeheartedly believe that if you put in a few weeks of studying preparation, as well as utilize some of the advice and tips that I listed in this video, you will without a doubt receive a passing score in your integrated national dental board exam. Like always, I'll go ahead and put the links in the description below for you to check out. Thank you for stopping by for another video here at Mendoza Dental. We truly appreciate you guys and hope to help in whatever way possible. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them down below, hit that like and subscribe button, and more importantly, stay golden docs. Till next time, peace.